The following feature is rated SM for spiritual maturity and is not intended for the immature who wishes to remain as such. The views expressed are not necessarily those of our sponsors as they sometimes could care less about what the host is saying but is more concerned about having their product on a popular show. Warning, small minds, listen at your own risk as this content is extremely overwhelming and may do further damage to those minds closed off to objective reality. Approach with an open mind as the heavy nature of the content will lick your chip. Your chip. In the meantime, 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 in between time, time in the meantime, in the meantime, in between time, boom 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 time. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome, Purple Nation, yes, to another groundbreaking episode of In The Meantime, yeah man, episode 39, entitled Dolly House, Part 4. Alright, as promised, I'm going, I'm going to continue the discussion from the Gleaner article, yeah man. The online Gleaner article from last episode, you saying? Yeah man, yeah man, the article where 84-year-old Alfonso Reynolds, yeah man, happily, yeah man, wedded his 93-year-old soulmate. Mary, yes, after 50 years, right? I tell you, yeah, man. And many people in the comment section, in that art, yeah, on that article, yes. But as far as say, boy, oh, she will leave him and, and don't make him waste her time. And this truly show how deluded the average human really is, Rasta, I tell you. Everything in them head is just overly simple, man. Them do factor in reality in a anything at all because when it's a woman I know if you do it the possibly three hour, thirty minute and forty seconds when she have left her earth now. Watch if we go club go bubble down and look for your next man. Why again, my brother, are, are people apparently so delusional? Um, could you could you explain? Uh, why again are there is there attempt to have um, relationships often met with futility, meaning it goes nowhere for those who don't understand what futility is? My brother. All right, I go and go again. Watch out now. You remember the constant state of anxiety when we say the average, yeah, when we say we believe say the average person living now when them do understand something. Well, just imagine that something there where them do understand being almost everything because we know them mind and how it train them for interpret reality. Make them see only small parts of everything and think all right. Remember now, you know, them common sense are work perfect. But what them don't have is a full view or understanding of, of the reality where the common sense are tell them to confront. Why is that? Because they must see this reality partially and don't know. So every time them follow them common sense, them get fucked. All right, look on it like this. Picture your car broke down in the middle of nowhere. But you broke down right behind the next car. And right? your common sense tell you, say, you need a tow or I should have said then. A next vehicle for pull or draw your own then. Go somewhere, go get it fixed. And you just come out of your vehicle and tie your vehicle to that other vehicle. And go right back in your vehicle, go sit down. And, and I wait for it move and I get frustrated. I blow hand and I go on bad. When you never stop to think or check if the vehicle in front of your own. Did have in gas, a driver, or even an engine. But expect, say, it's a car, so why it have, it have to move, you know. This is the way I believe the average person mind work. And because of that, nothing will work. Because again, them don't think about the process or anything. Just the ideas of everything. Now the average person start to believe now. So them common sense will lead them wrong. So after a while now, common sense become them enemy. Because them think it now work. And them don't know say them and misunderstand reality. And end up can't follow common sense instruction. So them develop a deep mistrust feet. And therefore them is left without spiritual guidance. And this put them in a state of uncertainty. Will lead to extreme anxiety about everything. This now is where I believe make the average person actually stuck. In a thing with psychologists call fight or flight mode. Which is an automatic psychological reaction to an event. Where them, where, where them mind interpret or see as stressful, dangerous or frightening. 
this danger, you know, where, where, where them think they must say, trigger a, a, a stress response for prepare the body for fight or flee. Yeah, man, fight or run away then, yeah. The yeah, item can research that for yourself, yeah, man. No, I personally believe, based on my own deep spiritual observation, that everything where the average person believe about, about success in a, especially relationships, make them stuck in a that mode and can't calm down and come out of that stress response. Mode there because one now. Again, the average person misunderstand everything about where they must see. And therefore, them always anxious. And this is what I think lead to the lifelong frustration will lead to the kind of nihilism. Remember that word there, yes. Nihilism or negative outlook for everything. Which too often eventually lead to suicide. My brother. Yeah. Forgive me if you said it and um, so, uh, I don't remember, but I don't see what keeps us in the state of anxiety that would trap us in fight or flight. At the moment, I don't see it. All right, like me saying, I'm a book, Planet Earth. In a society where self-preservation is rooted in competition and not cooperation, we who are finite creatures, you know, at least in this realm, finite meaning limited, yeah, for those who don't know, a play and actually I try win an infinite or endless game named life where our over simple belief still we say, say it is possible for win this game and reach the path in a life where nothing else will ever go wrong and all obstacles and misfortune come to an end and that is an illusion it is yes brethren we cannot win a game where we, where we don't have no control over the competitors desire for compete a game we are no soccer, we have a limited duration then or a time span like yeah, 90, 90 minutes and, and, and 3 minutes time added on. We, we, life no set up so. To apply this kind of mindset to an infinite game named life we just go on forever is why most people suffer so. When they go after success because it's impossible to achieve. Because with, with the outlook upon it, you can never be satisfied. Why is that if you don't mind me annoying you? Because the idea of winning come with the idea of being number one, having the most, ending up at the top. So automatically you think if a man have the car, they have to have a better car. If the man have the house, they have to have the house, the plus a jet. But you don't know, say. You think, say, one day it go stop. But it does not stop. Because the game don't stop and the other people we are playing the game don't stop. So when we are playing this kind of endless game, the biggest danger where we are going always see is losing this game. We don't stop. So we now go be in short supply of where the mind go interpret as danger. So if it answer your question, this is how I believe the average person becomes stuck on the anxiety settings. So what you think now the average person are going to do for stop with them interpret as the biggest danger, which is losing this competition here and becoming irrelevant. What you think they are going to do? I don't know. What's that? They might go become people pleaser, a.k.a. what we call the entertainer. We have to please the crowd, a.k.a. everybody. Are them not a good wife, husband, friend, or overall person to nobody? In reality, now, them end up can't truly be none of the above. Because what you think end up up now? In order for them please everybody and don't become irrelevant. Let's pretend I don't know and hopefully by now you don't mind telling me. Them end up and mass produce the one energy we can give them the courage to choose the things and people where them desire. And that is them love energy. What you mean? Because them have so much people for please it water down the quality of them love energy. So after a while them feelings is no longer inspired but invented. So them energy not strong enough for bring the kind of passion where it takes for, for, for inspire the kind of patience. We take for truly choose anything or anyone. So the weak energy where them have left can only afford them for make selections. Cause them have no time for sickle in order for truly make any kind of choice. So love for anyone or anything become just a really good idea. But them don't have time for the process where it take for truly do it. In a them mind everything is as seen on TV and them believe it is really that simple. Really? Yeah man, that way I say. You actually believe that they believe that? I don't believe that I'm sitting here trying to believe you that you believe that people really believe that. I don't believe you that they believe that. I don't. 
Yes, brethren, them love energy weak because it is mechanical. It no based genuinely upon strong feelings. Just an idea of what feelings are. Because them have so much people for please. Them say marriage or partnership. Like something where I sell our restaurant. Where you just walk in and say, boy, oh, I'll have the one like Kanye and Kim own. When they had it. It looks so delicious. I'll have it with a side of Rihanna and Aesop Rocky. And I'll take the Cardi B and Offset to go and have it later. No challenges please. And all the objective reality and truth. I'm allergic. And when them get where them think them want. And realize it come with the objective truth where them allergic to. Them carry it back. I want to take back the currency name. Time where them use bite and end up with regret. And depression when them realize that there is no refund. Why is that though? Because again, them a mass produce love and have to share it out to a million people. People whose opinions now have to matter if it is they are to be important to these people. Who them don't know say, control them mind. This is why again, me say most people cannot make choice only selections. Because them have too much people for please. So they don't have their own mind? No, brethren, them actions controlled by a vast network of, of, of majority opinions. Where them have to serve with their friends, family and otherwise. Therefore, them love energy or spirit not strong enough to do the work where it takes to truly love anyone or anything. Whether a spouse, family member or even a job. That's why most of so-called love for someone or something crumble when that person or thing come under pressure and judgment from the majority. I don't believe that. Fear enough, fear enough. But remember, you know, the girl did love the artist so bad. Oh my God, she can't stop thinking about him every two day. Hey, hey. Nothing ever important in her life like this artist. So much so that she find herself at the artist's hotel on various occasions sucking penis. Even though she married, that never matter. Fast forward two, three years down the line, the artist do have a popular song and become unpopular to the majority. And the artist a call her phone for the whole of that two, three years and she not answer. Why she not answer? No love? You do have a point there. Yeah man, when love is mass produced, it becomes something else that imitate or mimic love, but is not love. Because it water down and it's not strong enough to help you hold on to someone or something where everybody else no love. Or is not in favor with at a particular moment. Because we have all these opinions to serve. And for those who don't know, when you mass produce something is when you manufacture or build it in a large amount or quantities. Like, like when Henry Ford, yeah man, where him come with this assembly line of cars where you can just make in a half hour. When you mass produce it become a mechanical process. So it have less quality and cost less because less time and patience invest in a building it. Now, something like certain custom Rolex, you yeah, watch, for example, now, where each of them was uncrafted with particular consideration, focus, and commitment to the building of a quality product, where do have a duplicate or a next one exactly like it, is why it's so expensive. So if you don't put this kind of time, patience, and commitment in a, any relationship, work, or otherwise, it cannot survive, because it cannot have any real value if nothing is going to create in it. But you have to forgive most people because them think that them are do. Why do you think that people keep insisting that um, living these lies uh, is, is the truthful way to go, my brother? That's what is confusing. Again, brethren, the truth in our world will be out of pure egocentric lies, a fucking lie. And again, in this world, your own mind is a flawed concept, Rasta, because nobody, almost nobody don't think for themselves. Them is controlled by where the tribe or the rest of herd is controlled by. But isn't a sense of tribal importance in the eyes of others a natural human desire, my brother? You surely cannot overlook this reality, my brother. Yeah, but, but... Hold on, hold on. I believe uh, the need for tribal recognition is normal, my brother. Don't see what could be so wrong with that. Yes, brethren, it is a natural part of human nature for them connect to the wider tribe and survive together as a group. But just like common sense and every other impulse where it meant for help with. This instinct for connect with others is in perfect working order. It will work properly. But again, it is the beliefs where the average person use interpret reality. We turn this like every other natural instinct, emotion or impulse against them. Now who make up the group where the average person want to be important to? I guess that would be other average people. Exactly. 
And average people don't have a spiritual understanding of reality. Them socialize for be obedient to a system where deliberately keep them in a lower frequency or state of consciousness then and harvest the rewards of them ignorance. These are the people where we are trying to be important to and connect with. At them, the average person are fight for matter to. So instead of protect with the instinct to connect, end up and destroy with because I be a zombie, it make we want to be important to brethren. And we don't know because we don't socialize for even one know. It rough. Alright, I'm going to continue that yeah, further down in the program, but as usual, this section of the program is brought to you by Vicebox Studios, the voice of a nation, and Madvert Multimedia. If it's not Madvert, it's not an advert. And also, Bounce About Kids Party Rentals. It's at Bounce About for the finest in all things related to kids' parties, fun days, and other events, yeah, man. So, when you, when, when you look at, you know, that special touch there for certain occasions, man. Don't Bounce go all about and look for that. Bounce About. <laughs> yes, Rasta, we are tell you, yes. I will miss at bounce about it's B U N X about in you know, a Rasta so no care so no get it wrong. The number to call is 876-404-1714. So call now and customize an experience for your patrons with the children or otherwise that they will never forget. I don't know by now, so this section is also brought to you by Renaissance Immigration Services. Yes, man, them angle all things immigration. In a Canada, them are the greatest thing, man. Let me tell you. Don't take my word for it. Just call Renaissance at what? 437 703 1147 to eat. Yeah, man, and the consultation is absolutely free, Rasta. All right, we across the board up on this thing, you know. Yes, if you're in America, you hear about Renaissance immigration. And you say, boy, you want a service like this, yeah, man. And you feel like, say, it out of your reach. Not no go so, man. Me, I tell you, there is also Lewis Law Professional Association. Yeah, man, and like me always say, when the whole graveyard of immigration crosses that run you down, yeah, man, them can put a stop to it, Rasta, me, I tell you. Them deal with all things immigration in America, like visa, citizenship, removal of conditions, yeah, man. No matter where shampoo was, say, man, all conditions gone, me, I tell you. Yeah, man, them deal with waivers. And women's right and all them things that them deal with, man. And, and we'll eat more, yeah, man. So just call Lewis Law now at 954-530-1717 to access immigration. Heaven. 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 In the meantime. In, in the meantime and between time, what is coming is coming. Boy, well, I say, I did an idea, you know, all right. I did an idea, I say, boy, this elder couple here married long time. It's just that most people idea of what marriage is kind of totally wrong. Really? Yeah, man, almost nobody, especially in this Western hemisphere, has ever been married. And them don't know because they have never accepted the process of, of, of what marriage truly is. Only the idea. Uh, my brother, what is marriage then? If it is not what most of us think uh, it is, my brother. Marriage is the relationship itself and not the ceremony. I believe the ceremony is meant to celebrate a marriage and not to create one. It is meant to make it official, not to make it happen. Alright, so the comment of the day now is coming from a bridging who asks to be referred to as Joseph Sinclair. Yeah, man. Joseph said, Earlier in the previous episode 38, you said something that I am sure others are thinking about and would love for you to expound on. You said basically, and you can say if I am misunderstanding you, that people seeing nothing higher than their idea of self is a major factor in why they suffer dreadfully in every type of relationship. Could you go further into that? Also, I once heard you say why most relationships fail after marriage even if two people have been together like forever before they do it. Could you say again why this is? I don't think I fully got it. Alright Joseph, make could deal with you. Yeah, make could start off with people, not, most people, the average person not being able to see anything higher than the self. Yeah, the illusion what them think of as self. Yeah, so yeah. Another great reason why, why many people become, you know, many partners become competitors who become obstacles in a each other way is that them don't see anything higher than themselves. Then preserving this self become your only goal. Nothing else matter, you're saying? 
exactly brethren it become the center of your life and therefore everything you see are going to be considered as something that should have served or service this idea this outlook of what we often describe as meanness yeah man where the concept of me or i become the highest ideal in your life and nothing have more value than me or i and this you know make it impossible for truly love respect or be loyal to anyone or anything located below the me or I that nothing else is higher or greater than. Really? Yeah, man. This idea of the me become the center of the universe. And you set out to make the world conform to worshiping it. And you don't know because this is how you were socialized to not see anything higher than this illusion of yourself. You have all the greatest intentions and agree with the most noble, humble of concepts where you can find. But you cannot mean them because in your vision of life there is no higher authority in your life than the counterfeit, fraudulent version of self where, where, where you think real. So it make your program for seek slave and not partners by the very way you see the world. And you don't know say that you do because in your subconscious mind. In other words, again, the part of you will take orders from thoughts where you repeat over and over. So this part of you assume say these thoughts are something where you want and it put it, put these things in your life without you noticing. For example, as a reminder, like when me always say, the light switch. I saw you end up at Tony Tana when you know say, all your conscious say light gone. Now in the average human mind, especially those round in the West, yeah. The beliefs so repeat through socialization from them born is that they are the center. Yes, the self, the thing what they perceive as self, or see as self, is the center of all things. So automatically when anyone disagree with them, it's an argument for get those people who disagree in line or for put them in a them rightful place. Which is where? Where is that? For serve them interests or those people become the enemy. It come in like in a 1616 when a brother named Galileo did, I, I wouldn't say discover, yeah man. Because a brother named Capernicus did do that years before him. But Galileo confirmed then, yeah man, can, because I confirmed. So the earth was indeed not the center of the solar system. And that the sun and all the planets did not revolve around the earth. But the other way around. Yeah man, him, him, him said the sun was actually the center. The Catholic church called Galileo a heretic. Which is a person who opposed church teachings and set out to kill him and you know, run him down, go across Europe. And the reason why the average human set out to conquer or destroy anyone who don't see them as the center of everything is no different from the reason why the church did do that. Them believe everything revolve around for them flawed idea of self. And them don't recognize no greater force that is above them where them consider say them should revolve around or surrender to. So how oh, one or both people with, with this kind of mindset are going to survive any kind of relationship for any level at all? They can't? No, brethren. This mindset is why I believe almost nobody upon the earth have never been married and them don't know. It is only when you and your partner surrender to and try to serve this higher force of objective truth above self only that time there. Yago can truly work together as a group. Because when you see your partner, you won't see a competitor who is trying to be the self. Who will own or dominate the relationship. Because no now no now strive to be the ultimate center of it of all things. So there will be no intimidation from the other person. Because it's no about obedience to something greater than the two of you. So the competition between you will not exist. Because there is no conflict over Ufa. Me, I go interpret and determine what is the reality of the relationship. Now, Joseph, as to, as to, as to answer the question of why people can they for how much years and then as they married a, a separate room and divorce lawyer. Well, apart from the fact say the ceremony tell a story, say the game zero. And, and there is nowhere else to go. And that especially the woman has accomplished which is set out to accomplish. Game over? And yeah, yeah. I believe, say, it is also because of how oversimple we socialize this reality as simplistic ideas while ignoring processes. 
we end up confused the ceremony for the marriage itself. But I believe the relationship is the marriage. So this confusion between marriage and ceremony turn marriage, in a, especially in the West, in a, into nothing but, but an auction with slaves for sale, especially male slaves. Really? Yeah, man, the only thing you now hear is Ladies, we have here a fine young buck who is ambitious but naive and spiritually immature. He'd pay anything to be seen as socially compliant. And the word of the day, ladies, is compliant, which means when someone is willing to do what they're asked to do. Think of it, ladies. He is willing to do anything, including not making you sign a prenup if you just say it offends you, just to show his friends that he has the prettiest girl on the block and they don't. Come on, ladies, think of the fine slave he will make, especially when you give him the children you will use to control his actions. Now do I hear 50, 50, can we get 55? Can we get 50? I know we can get 55, you can get 60. Do I have 60? Can we get 70 in the back? Can we have 80, 80, 80? Do we have 90? 90, 90, 90, 90, we got 95 in the back? We have 90, I know you can do this. We got 95, 95. Do I have 100? 95 going once, going twice. Sold to the dunce brown prostitute in the back trying to act like a lady. The lady. The lady. Nobody now go play a game where them know them win already. Marriage provide this win already outlook for most people, especially women. It is a fail safe switch with somebody, especially women, get to realize say them do have to work as hard as, as, as before. For maintain the relationship because the man sign a contract will make him into a slave who will have to behave him like a Kunta Kintes help. Because him tie up in that contract and she a beat him with the possibility of losing picnic. Plus half him shit. So him half the same name Toby if I dot the same name. Watch a movie name Alex Haley's Roots. <laughs> yeah man if you never watch it yet. And you will understand fully the metaphor when we just use. Before marriage she never sure. So she will fight to make it work. Beat up all two girl if I saw it, if I saw it for go. He married her and then all of a sudden him have to start fight she for a simple cup of tea. Immature people can't marry Bridget. Because watch I know. When people, not just women, work for anything at all, you know, them value it more. If it's not too spiritually evolved people are going involved in this thing, yeah, then especially for you as the man, the ceremony will become a title transfer ceremony where you sign over ownership of yourself into this woman your name. So the long and short of this thing you know, Joseph, is that for people who don't understand and accept the process of what marriage is, they might become complacent and lazy after the ceremony because people work hard after something and invest more energy when them don't sure how it's going to go. For example, again, if you don't know how the game is going to end, you're going to try win. But if you know, then you're not going to bother play. That's so true. Yeah, man. A relationship more for last. When people feel them reach too far for turn back now. The ceremony, this Babylon ceremony, you know, where them a push as marriage, is nothing but a safety net for people who are deliberately socialized to be spiritually immature. The safety net, you make you have a just in case. Yeah, man. Especially when one partner who is usually the man then, Richard. And in the case of marriage to an ambitious man then, this woman, yeah, this immature woman, I go see this marriage as, as a just in case. When average humans have a just in case, you know, anything at all, it make them put off the work and start rely on the just in case. So they go often lazy because they have that option. It's like a man have a bankyard then. And as, as he made hurt him, so boy, yeah, him that are looking at somebody head back, a line up and go in a bank machine 12 o'clock at night. Every two fucking minutes. Every two fucking minutes. Every two In the meantime. If anyone where I go there with don't understand the difference between a choice and a selection and can bear the burden of the sacrifice will come with making a choice, then chances are you're going to end up a sing this song when we're about to play, especially the chorus. This song I've been out for, uh, for some time, you know, but it's one of my all-time favorite from, from the artist. And I think it is one of, if not the best song she, 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 she sing, yeah man. Because the chorus speak to the reality of being spiritually mature while being involved with a person who vibrate upon a lower frequency. Who consider you as them enemy whenever you ask them to do better and not just say it. 
because them immature mind interpret everything backwards and make them see everything in a reverse, like good as bad and bad as good, etc. And this concept you now can go for different levels of relationship. Whether it's a man with a beg a, a girl to grow up for her own good, or just a work, you know, a work situation, friend or family or otherwise. Like me always say, the same universal rules apply straight across the board. When them spiritually immature, there is only one objective truth where you can tell them, and it's this. You're not ready at all, ready for all. This unconditional love I got for you. You know, set up top boss. In the meantime, up top, I'm representing the value of the vice boss. You understand? Why you do me this? Why you do me this? He give you me love and it's the way you do it. Why? It's the way you do it. You're not ready at all, ready for all. This unconditional love I got for you. This love I got for you. You're not ready at all, ready for all. This unconditional love I got for you. This love I got for you. Why this was a waste of time? Why you fool me telling your lies? Give you my love, no me heart get dry But by Molly say no woman no cry Run it! Run it! Run it! Run it! That's how they hurt daddy! Go ahead! Yeah man, if you know say this is Leela Ike and right and now you're listening to In The Meantime with Curly Locks The Voice Box Check it! I spy, I spy That you see something in my life Why you do me this? Why you do me this? You give me love and it's the way you do it. Why? It's the way you do it. You're not ready at all, ready for all. This unconditional love I got for you. This love I got for you. You're not ready at all, ready for all. This unconditional love I got for you. This love I got for you. Why this was a waste of time? Why you fool me telling your lies? Give you my love, no me heart get dry But by Molly say no woman no cry Walk me up your thousand miles But you say you're tired of walking eyes You not in a ring with your turk up Bring me a fall back cause you not all that You not ready at all, ready for all This unconditional love I got for you This love I got for you You not ready at all, ready for all this unconditional love I got for you This love I got for you You want everybody like Satan While you're cheating, loving me, I wait on Deleting your conversations Why you so hard, boy, you a must miss on Oh, why, oh, why Why you so caught up living the hype life Party day and night Party days and night This love I got for you You're not ready at all, ready for all This unconditional love I got for you This love I got for you No, I can't take your back For you to get treatment like that You ain't ready, you ain't ready Yes, that was the one and only Shensia. Yeah, man, I tell you, not Shensia. That's all right. Most of them are not ready at all. Most of them are not ready at all. Yeah, man, they are mature relationship. Yeah, man, only the spiritually mature people can have this kind of understanding. We take for love unconditionally. Have a, a, a kind of partnership we survive any condition. This song is available as usual, yeah man. Panal reputable online platform, you know. Oh yes, and 
Remember, we support the good music when the artists do them and stop. Wait for them to do something bad and complain about it. It's a part of the problem when you do that. So yes, yeah man, do remember to get my book, Planet Earth. It is available on Amazon, yeah man, and planeteartbook.com. Yes, and it comes in all farms. Yes, so you know, say, you can get the audio book on Audible and iTunes and just about Anyway, the, uh, yeah, anyway, other books sell, yeah, man. And it is also available locally at JA Deals, Kansan Spring Road, located right across the road from Transport Center, yes, man, in I Plaza where Mother's Day, yeah, man. So check out JA Deals website, www.jadeals.com, yeah, man, for them other locations where they have the book to, and yeah, other things, yes. So JA Deals also ship internationally to the Caribbean, etc. So don't worry about, yes, this thing I reach on, yes, this book reaching the item. So, yeah, man, it is also located upstairs Island Grill, yes, Twin Gates Plaza, in a place where name Cellular Repairs. It also the selected locations of Kingston Bookshop, yeah, man, and Tash Chemicals in a Westmoreland, call 876-354-7543. I'm talking about book, yes man, you, know, you, know, you can look out for the re-release of my first book, The Road to Zion, yeah man, and of course, this are the revised version. The revised version. In the meantime. Truth and reality and a dream time. Curly locks. In the meantime, listen to theme time. Go and go tell them, say you're rasta around the world, a curly locks around the world. Six the king has a purple new shirt. When we say purple, we mean that. This next section of In The Meantime is brought to you by Renaissance Immigration Services. Yeah, man, them deal with all things immigration in Canada. I'm not telling you that. You don't know about it. No, yes. Them fix the visa where you overstay because you're frightened and run off. I know what? People that take advantage of you in every way, shape, and farm. Yeah, man. I make the item I work for less than one word. And you don't feel that there is no way out. Renaissance, I'm so telling you, man. So for them, motto is simply this. They believe, say, as long as there was a way in, there is all always a way out of your immigration problem. So call them now at 437-703-1147 to eat. The consultation is absolutely free. It's absolutely free. It's absolutely free. In the meantime. What's in the news? Well, I feel good for tell you, boy, the kidnapping, yes, of nine-year-old Felicia Prusha, yes, from a district in a bad St. Thomas. And well, my brethren, me I tell you, yes, it's, that's very good news indeed, my brother, yeah, man, me I tell you, Rasta, I want to big up to the whole bad community, yeah, man, as a matter of fact, the entire St. Thomas, big up on yourself, yeah, man. Big up Popcorn, who helped spread the word, yeah, man, and everyone else who really joined in the search. For this little girl, Arasta. It is really a great look on the part of the citizens who came together in a such an unselfish way for make it happen. I commend them indeed, my brother. Yeah, man. At this, it used to mean when, when, when them say take a community for raise a child. Yeah, man. Big up to the police commissioner, too, Anthony Anderson, who never just issue orders but take a personal role in this case. Yeah. Big up to the entire bat police department who work alongside the people and labor tirelessly for find this little girl here, yeah man. I hope as the people realize now say police in general is not the enemy and that they are them need to start understand that thing when we call twin reality and put in effort for differentiate or tell the difference then, yeah man, between the good and the bad in every situation and deal with them accordingly. And stop this generalization, yeah man, with everything on a generalize. You know, if you stop that something there, yeah man. Because what now? See this thing I go on and, 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 and no police no live up at the station. And no for them don't sleep till they help find, help find this little girl. I hope you remember that when one of them had to the fuck or like make a next TikTok video or dance to bad man song. Yeah man, you have to encourage people, yeah man, we do the good to keep doing the good. When you can do that, yeah, man, it is always wise because what? Well, you're going to automatically force them to join the evil if nobody no recognize when them do the right thing. So, yeah, this situation show me, say, we as a people more than capable of protecting and looking out for each other, Rasta, I tell you that. At that Jamaica, I'm a member, and I eat my fight for every day. But watch a man, hear me now, watch a now. Me know, say, right now, everybody blood a boil and the dumpling and banana, them ready. Because we have to catch the culprit and something have to come out of this. I, I want the item. I hope to make the police do them proper investigation, Rasta. Because usually this jungle justice kind of thing, yeah. 
where people go to work based on speculation and assumption lead to some dangerous outcome where the wrong people get accused of certain crime and them thing there and many times the wrong person end up dead so although me understand said the eye them angry at the same time we don't want to hurt no innocent people yeah man so it is good news for you, said them fine, not only Felicia, but even the other 13 year old in one piece, so yeah man, it is, that news is good. And speaking of good news, you know, yeah man, I want the item know, yes, uh, Kaelan, yeah man, who the big woman them did beat up, and she end up in her coma for how long, yeah man, me, me I inform the item, say she's out of the coma, yeah man, but she not really out of the woods yet, because right now she need over 400,000 US for do her surgery. And as you know, it's it, it no easy upon our mother. We, we, we fight for stay sane through all of this and thing. Yeah, man. But I tell her, say, don't doubt the people. Yeah, man. With a good heart. We do what them can do for help. You understand? So, she have a go fund me. Yeah, man. And the link is in the description below. So, please help in any which way the item can. And the item can call her to 876-362-1827 if the item have no question. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. In the up top boss, in the meantime, up top, I'm represent for Curly Locks, the voice box. You understand? Stay in your own alien, yeah. All right, yes, yes, yes. The letter of the day coming to in the meantime radio show at gmail.com is coming from Henry Willis. Yes, Henry say, greatness, voice box, yes. I had what I thought was the perfect life. I was working in six figures and was more than taking care of my family's every need. I proposed to my girlfriend of five years until everything changed when one day I found texts in her phone of her talking to another guy about the sex they were having. She was even accusing the guy of not wanting her and that he must be seeing somebody else. When I confronted her, she was sorry for what seemed like the half hour that we decided to try and make it work. Instead of truly accepting that she was wrong and own her deceitful actions, she blamed me and what, was, what I wasn't doing for her when there was nothing she ever asked and I didn't deliver. She left and took my two boys and it broke my heart. I then started talking to this other girl I used to fool around with back in the day. She was like a best friend who would encourage me whenever I had issues with my first baby mother. And then put the one who took the boys yeah, in bracket. And yeah, put them in a bracket for, 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 for help you understand the other same baby mother. There. So, i continue and, and I say, about the girl you know from back in the day, say, she would always say that what my baby mother did was wickedness and that she would never do a thing like that to me. I felt really connected to her and like I knew her. <laughs> oh, rascal, watch out, that's so how it start. Anyway, you say, things became sexual and I wasted no time. I proposed to her and we got married after eight months. After the wedding, she changed. Sex became less frequent and she started partying more. It was at that point where I hit a slum and money was slower than before. So we had to scale down from Ferraris to Benzes just to make a comparison. In other words, we still had enough to say we were way better off than the average person. Yet she started saying I needed to fix this and that other people were talking and pointed out People that I helped that were now doing better than me. I suspected she was sleeping. So I set up hidden cameras in the house when she went to work. When I saw the footage, I was shocked to see my wife in our bed with the selector that played music at our wedding. <laughs> it's rough. Hey, hey watch out, man. All right. I'm going to say, like my first girl, she blamed me for what she did. I filed for divorce, and she not only got half of everything that she didn't leave a finger or form a proper sentence to encourage me to achieve, but she also got full custody of my daughter, and I got put on child support for thousands a month. She then took my daughter and moved from New York to a state about 600 miles away without telling me. She does everything to piss me off. 
One day she dialed me and put the phone down just for me to listen while she beat my daughter senseless. I got so mad I drove the 600 miles in the middle of the night. I was so mad when I couldn't get into the house that I broke a window and threatened to kill her. She took out a restraining order against me. Yet she tells everybody that I don't come to see my daughter when she knows the reason why. Because the truth is, I cannot because of the restraining order. It hurt me when my daughter told me I am the reason why my mother treats her so bad and that I should stop irritating her mother. This woman calls and complains about everything right around the clock. She does not let me rest and I am this close to crazy. I don't know what to do and I would love your take on this situation. Big up Zion, sign lost and broken. Alright, respect my bridging, yeah man, Zion all the way, boy, me I tell you, it's rough in the Rasta. I sorry for years, say, boy, yeah, I got you that still, my bridging, but the truth is, we don't get anyone for change by force or any kind of attempt for control, but through inspiration brought on by the changes we make in ourselves. The more you force, especially a immature, childlike adult who sit in them ways, is the worse them get and the further them go into the actions we are try changing at them. Because regardless of how good your intentions are, them interpret or see anyone trying to even encourage them as trying to control or tell them what to do. Because in a for them eyes, everybody are them competitor. Nobody no get no discount. And for them motto is nobody is them leader or them done. So with the mindset that it's hard for them to learn and evolve spiritually. So them stagnant. Your case are now Henry sound terrible, my brethren, I tell you. But based on the fact that you asked me to check the profiles of the two women, yeah man, we, we are talking about you know, the two women in question, yes, in confidentiality. So you know, so I'm not going to really give them name or bear them likeness publicly in any kind of way. Yes man, I tell you, we don't do that on this program, Rasta professional thing yeah so it it, it it should have been obvious to you though anyway say boy yeah, it should have obvious way to get yourself in about i don't but, but don't feel bad don't feel bad because i don't think you truly understand your subconscious actions and why you behave certain way but that can change if you're willing to do the work a whole heap of man end up in a these situations because of, most of it just like the girl we are who we often Think of the patent or copyright for this kind of behavior. It's also immature and, and, and view reality a little too simple. We heavily influence by how, how everything look without paying any kind of attention to the details of, of the things we truly make them what, them what them is in reality. So as most of we get little pussy, we think we get a woman. And it's sad to say quite often is these sudden divorces and separation. Most of we realize they get pussy and get woman are two different things. Most of we in such a hurry. For, for sure we friend them, your man. So we have the artist girl that we overlook. The ways of these little girls stuck in a big woman body where we think a woman. But watch out now. The part where them blame you do Henry, your man, for the breakup. Of the relationship and all of the other excuse them where them are fine because one of them are your action for be for them fault. I just a bag of talk them at all, man. Them know it too. Just know say no matter where them are say about money, where where, where them woman are talk about money, ninety eight percent of the time money never have a fuck for do with it. But maybe it does in, in the in this case though, my brother. You can't say that. Fair enough. But if I'm money then, why should I fuck a wedding selector? She know that just wallow for somebody we can bring her back a Ferrari and up. Nonsense. Nonsense what? It's all about attention. What kind of attention and who them want that attention from? All of them. Every single woman. Fuck who them like are interested in her. And them don't give those who them have interest in her any kind of trouble until them lose interest. And them usually lose interest when them get bored. And when others lose interest in a way them did interested in her. Now breeding somebody like this who is a competitor in the social Olympics, you have to know that every aspect of them life is dedicated to the competition because not feeding the me or I where them see as the highest thing to aspire to is spiritual suicide for them. 
Them will do anything for please the crowd and be seen as a winner. And then we use anything for achieve it, including them vagina. This is the biggest reason why them get them vagina free. And I try sell it back. So the next time you, you, you see the average girl fat up in her tights, just know she sell it a sell. And that what you often think of as your front is really a storefront. Because them number one priority is the competition. You have to know so your children are safe. Because this kind of spiritual immaturity will make the rules in the West. Turn the average woman in a kidnappers who give birth to hostages and not children. Oh good God, I don't know why they have solid waste management on Hagley Park Road and have never sought to try and manage the type of rubbish that comes out your mouth. How could you see a thing like that, my brother? Because, brethren, the competition come first for them. Them don't see them own children as precious little creatures who deserve protection, but as hostages where them can hold over the father head and use as a bargaining chip to keep the father obedient and worshipful and manipulate him for money and our attention forever. You really believe that? Yes, brethren. To these kind of people, especially women, children is not anything where them genuinely want. Because again, them love energy too weak to choose anyone or anything, including them children. Because it have to share with everybody else. And most relationships nowadays have been two people who are playing the same game of doing everything for the social approval. Not just women. As a matter of fact. And because a man a play the same immature game with them obsessed with this social approval, yeah. Same way like the woman with them love cuss, and that's why them easy to catch. So it's the men's fault now, you're saying, my brother? No, me I say, a people fault, immature people, who stuck following the social rules will stop them from growing up, and these come in a all gender. Look how naive most man is, you know, and, 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 and tell themselves, say. A woman alone stays, so watch her now. Show any one of them, these immature man, show any one of them a picture of a vain conceited, dunce, attention seeking, loud mouth browning. We can't boil water to save our life, but she look and shape good, like what everybody say is the definition of art. And see if them are going to choose the humble little rasta girl, we do yoga and I take deep breath. And pray four times a day over that browning. No, them not choose her over, over that browning. Why is that? Because them, just like the bitch where them think them don't like, were only people who other people want. I've often wondered, my brother, why these... What, what's uh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Why these browning, these brownings, aka the hot gal, uh, are often so abusive to men, my brother. Because them is the crowd puller and them know see, them I get the most vote and I fit them party in a power. So like any other kind of politician, the reality that people need them is where them power come from. So them very quite often abuse those who them feel say need them or can't do without them. This again is why me say them get them pussy free and I try sell it back. Because them have sure buyers line up who know one pay just have to go step out of line. I find it hard to believe that people abuse people based on simply how, how much they are desired. I, I, I don't believe that. I don't. How <laughs> you say? What to you? You never have all one girlfriend yet where deal with your wicked and go on the most real like she had the, the greatest thing when she's a certain age and stage and be a man want her. And look more down the line. When breast reach down her heel back and belly a drop on the ground. And she fever Freddy Krueger, she just suddenly, all of a sudden, she had daily attack about how oh, she's in love. And still love you after all these years. Hey, Bridget, watch a man. Alright, make some ugly girl wake up at in the mirror tomorrow. Or make some black girl who secretly ate them blackness wake up brown. And see if no breakfast cook. Make fatty lose even 60 of them pound there. And see if you can call her and get her phone. Realistically, most people just feel safe. Them humble because them not in possession of the things where would have give them the confidence for abuse people. Remember me tell you that. I don't believe that. I don't. I way I say when immature people confidence, say them have something where others want. Them abuse them 95% of the time. I tell you that. Most of these narcissistic in demand woman. No say. No matter what them do to the average man, he might go take it. Because the line of other man where want them is very long. Them use this reality yeah, to control every aspect of him life because sometimes he, him even turn upon him friend him for please her. So him can continue to be seen as important to others because that's how he socialize. 
Look on the situation then. Alright, watch her now. Perfect example. Look on the situation with the basketballer named PJ Washington, who breed the girl when named Brittany Renner, who is an Instagram model. Which, by the way, according to a thing we name Urban Dictionary, yeah, man, is an extreme selfie taker, usually with a nice body, broke, with hopes of an athlete eating them up in their DMs to meet up and bust one inside them to get pregnant. That's an actual dictionary that says that, my brother? Yeah, man, it actually says so. Research it for yourself. Now him run go breed her and she turn in a monster and want everybody for sorry for him. When in truth, this girl here yeah, tell not only him but also the whole world who she was. But him still did have to her simply because she looked good and nothing else no matter. Actually before him breed her and run go married, she did do a video and say, I'm your quote now, this is a quote. In my experience, these are fair words you know, not mine. In my experience, the, the, the worst people to deal with are the athletes. None of them use condoms really. So if y'all wanna come up half a check on a man, you should just fuck an athlete. They are really dumb. She said that? Yeah, man. Virgin. Sure, hey, watch a man. I don't sorry for him or any man who's stupid enough to see somebody tell them in a every way say them are poison and them ignore the person who tell them that. And try create them own reality. That is like a man say, boy, yeah, I'm going to kill you, you know, and he must kill you. And you go in restaurant and go eat. Then run out and hold your throat, a ball to everybody, and say, this man, I try poison you. For PG, ignore the warning. And disclaimer from this girl is no different from ignoring the warning from the label where it says, cigarettes will, will, will kill you. And you still go smoke it because why? You are alive and I smoke it. It's the most conceited thing. For a human being, do why do people do that, especially in the case of relationships? You think, my brother, because them tell themselves that they're special and them can change this person, regardless of, of, of what them this, this person tell them straight up. And, and again, yes, yeah, man, yes, the man them is very often just like the bitches and dogs and war where them love for cuts. Because just like these so called dogs and bitches and whores, them don't get in a relationship. These men no get in a relationship for the right reason and them stay in the relationship them for the wrong ones. It's not woman alone people tell straight up, say boy. I'm a, yeah, a man tell a woman, say boy. Yeah, me have my wife and thing, you know, my family, you know, but you want to see, yeah, me just need you as a little stage where me can go and rehearse some bad fuck to give my wife, man. And she's still going to that relationship with the hope of changing this man. Yeah. Well, if a man stay the same way they too when it come to woman, I try to turn Delilah and Jezebel in a wife material. Like him think a pings that blood clad cell. Let <laughs> me continue this thing. Alright, now the girl breed and secretly divorce PJ and Rasta and put him on 200,000 US dollar a month child support. Then him run and post about, Miss my son. Don't understand why I can't see my son. Daddy misses you. And a beer man a pack up in a comment section and defend this clown who apparently wasn't hurt or miss him son enough to learn from the experience. But instead, you know, you know, move on to another IG model and I expect a different fucking result. While she gone on to the next rapper. We are fucker just for size up with the stars we fucker already. This useless and fruitless obsession with competition is the model we determine success in a anything, especially in a this western world. And that's why many of them artists here, even a Jamaica, end up as something many of the artists cocky by default. When, like me say already, like how second hand smoking is dangerous, they must suck second hand wood. When most of them are line up for kiss the same set of girl for the same reason. And that is to feel like no man no have nothing over them. And the picnic them will come because of these immature killer parents. Me really sorry for you now. Because of them always feel the consequences of the actions of them idiot parents the most. So, my brother. Yeah. You think that in PJ's um, case, the mother is using the child to hurt the father? If yes, uh, then again, why do women do that? Oh, you mean if the answer is yes? The answer is yes. Or because in you know, the average woman mind, yeah, man, I fear me or, or I need the validation, aka priors, 
from the general population. So these type of women get children not because them themselves want them, but because a child is simply just something else when nobody knows to have over them. Literally. And the same thing with marriage. And not because them understand the necessity of partnership why they married. And because them ears say them to have a marriage. Dalio Spurgeon. Absolutely a horrifying reality, my brother. Yeah, man. The me is the most important thing in life for these people. And everything must serve that me. Them can't take a backseat to nothing, including them children. I tell you a million times say to these people. Them own children is nothing but a fashion statement. These women see picnic like a puppy. We, 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 we give them points when other people say, Ah, they're adorable. So don't think it is any kind of love for the children. Most of the time when these women take them picnic from the father. Because in reality, them don't want these children. They don't? No man of the power where them get from torturing the man by keeping the youth from them. And that them enjoy. I don't believe that. I refuse to believe that, my brother. What you mean? Just like how you see Omar in the in, in last episode where, where I play games with him cousin. I suspect that this girl won't keep Henry too busy if he enjoy him new life if, 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 if he never find one. And most man don't see the game and fall right in the trap. She turn him in a vending machine. And she press the run me down for change my dirty waist button so I eat that drop out and I him that I get. I threaten to kill her over where she now tell herself is our good good. And some of them flatter themselves and show them friend all the phone, you know. Show them friend them the phone when all your caller come in and I say, him just a stalk me. And him can't go on about him business, man. Cha! When if I never the man youth in a most cases, she would have never hear from him again and her life. So, yeah. you're saying that um, this may be the case for Henry? Yeah, man. What do you mean? Maybe. He might ma, ma react the same way she want him react and confirm to her, say, miserably without her. Even if this, in reality, is not the case. And that she tell herself, same actions represent. So what's the solution for men caught in this trap, my brother? One solution is to try your best not to show this woman you say. It affect you. And that's how she are going to stop. Because when you don't react, it tells she with her narcissistic self say she's no longer that important to get that reaction out of you. So she are going to stop. Not because she understand or finally wake up to where you go through. But simply because it is now embarrassing to she that she is no longer that important. So she, so she no longer want to face that embarrassment. So she stop. Not for you, but for she. The other solution is again, true marriage is not for children. Just know that first. The other solution is again, for no, stop married in an institution in the West where rig against you as a man and, 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 and think, say, that are going to make a creature who 95% of them don't understand what a true marriage is because you're spiritually immature, not fuck you over. You're naive, Bridget. Hey, did you know, say, one of the most searched questions on Google is, would I still get half of my husband's assets if he finds out I have cheated? And them do a serious study. When I, yeah, them do a serious study. And find out that 78% of women who ask the question was unmarried at the time of typing the question in the search. Most of these women know where them are do brethren. So by the time you walk under the Calaban or the trap when me grew up knowing as Calabash. I ask wifey what's for dinner. She said divorce with a side of take with the picnic them and mad you. And what is rough you now is, is that the good after you go suffer for the bad because. Tell me, let me show you a it now because the shallow man frame little giddy fool who is pussy frightened like a 12 year old child. Make the little idiot lagged girl them feel like I saw every man stay. I know the mature man end up in a the same trap as those fucking idiots. I know the mature man feel like boy I saw every woman stay. And good all out to start buy them picnic. How and why would they do that, my brother? Through a thing when you in vitro fertilization, where you go to a special clinic and them give you a menu and you choose your baby mother, who you will never know. So no added stress. You give them your sperm, them fertilizer egg of choice. You get your child after the required period of time and walk out. And in this case, they would have do that because no woman couldn't take with that youth. 
where the title of them name when or if the relationship come to an end and come to think of it it might sound like a joke but it might be a very good idea for a sensible man all out from Babylon marriage and have girlfriends forever and buy him children if him can afford it to all them woman you go on in order to protect himself until him convince him find a partner who mature enough to give or handle unconditional love or protect himself until these women come off of the social drugs where them depend and I destroy everything in sight. This would have surely reorganized the social order. Them time there, they would have surely grow the fuck up because them now get no VIS. What's VIS? Very important sperms. Sperm. 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 Hey! In the meantime, 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 in between time. Time in the meantime, in the meantime, in between time. 